And the field will be in the hands of our pole sitter, Ty Majeski. He takes the inside lane. Outside of him, Johnny Sauter. Let's get 2024 underway at Daytona. Looked like Johnny Sauter spun his wheels a bit, but that got him a push from behind. Matt Mills hit him in the back and shot him right up beside our pole sitter, Ty Majeski. That bright yellow truck there about sixth in line on the inside thought about jumping inside the 41 of Bailey Curry thought better of it. They cannot lock, but lock bumpers. Remember that guys and NASCAR's told them they're going to keep their eyes on that. You can bump but you can't lock. And this is some tight racing already. Get ready to watch this all night long. My heart rate will go sky high because it looks like they could wreck at any moment the way they bounce around. Behind him the 15 of Tanner Gray and right behind him Matt Crafton the three time series champion in that bright yellow oh, 88 and, and there goes Crafton and, and we've got a goes. crash Gray around the same for Sanchez Stuart Friesen in it Ty Dillon in the oh, 25 Dillon into the outside wall and hard contact with that bump it Raja six laps in this would be a great shot of it here right there he hit Lane Riggs hard. Watch Lane Riggs, that yellow truck, avoid the 15 of Tanner Gray. Just slipped right through there, didn't he? Great job. Looks like is that Taylor Gray, maybe Corey Heim avoiding Ty Dillon. And did you see all the dirt that Grant Enfinger kicked up in the infield? Hopefully he can get that truck repaired. Raja, the 71, also getting some damage a restart Johnny Sauter outside lane and we got 13 eight laps to go now on the stage now that was interesting Johnny went high and then the first three trucks on the bottom all went low so just some differing strategy there look at them stock up that's what's so difficult your four or five trucks backfield you don't know they're stocking up next thing you know oh there's a big move and these trucks push such a big hole in the air they their closing rate is amazing by the way, that was Ty Dillon that came from the care center. Johnny Sauter leading this race. That was Corey Roper that the 0-4 truck that pulled to the outside to make it three wide. Nobody went with him. See Eckes leading the outside line, that blue Napa truck. Back to the line. To end stage one, Majeski out of line, but it's going to be Johnny Sauter who takes it. Ben Rhodes started in the back, all the way up in the top five. Pace truck is in, it's go time, second stage. Big push on the bottom. Look at Sands. Is Grant that Grant Enfinger jumps to the outside of Tony Branger. He was involved in the crash at lap six, and here he is in the nine making a play. That didn't work, so he bails, gets back to the middle. Had to get back in line to get some draft. There's his old teammate, Rajah Karuth, now driving for Spire in the 71, giving a push to that nine. But we saw the 42 of Matt Mills bent up early in the race, falling back. Look at him go now. Wow. There's Majeski. He falls back. Tyler Ankrum grabs the lead on the restart. That's Eckes in second. How about Corey Roper, the 04 truck? He's got a top five finish here before. Ooh, he moved up the racetrack. And who's coming? Who's leading it? Can we go from last to first? I think we can. It's about <laughs> to happen. Ben Rhodes drops to the rear. No problem. He said, you can call me two time. And here he is looking for the lead at Daytona. Middle stages of stage two. We were talking to Rich Lucis yesterday. He said, I have the best drafter in the field in my truck. And that's Ben Rhodes. And he's got the second best drafter, in my opinion, in the field. Corey LaJoy right on his tailgate. You lose the nose a couple of times to get that loose. You mentioned some precipitation. We've got a caution for weather. A mist on the front straightaway. Fifth caution of the night. Comes out with a couple of laps to go in our second stage. Tyler Ankrum is leading and trying to win stage two for a second straight season here at Daytona. That's an interesting stat, Adam. That kid can get it done mm -hmm. on the big tracks. You know now the rule is 
the end of the second stage or halfway whichever comes first would make it an official race and we don't need to run but just a couple laps under caution here and we would have an official race but well I sure I, I kept checking the the weather and the radar all and I never saw this coming for sure this is going to go away we're going to keep racing so they're going to bring them down pit road and they will take them to the turn one side of pit road so they will cross the start finish line completing our second stage Tyler Rankrum back to back years winning stage two at Daytona it's his third career stage victory overall Eckes Crafton die Rhodes in the top five Majeski LaJoy up there in finger gets points so does Sanchez and Corey Heim completes the top 10 in stage two. He could very well be in the middle of the mess as we <laughs> hit this final stage. I think when you're on the front row, you're in the middle of the mess. Yeah, you are. Holmes and Sauter take the green flag from that front row. Nice start by Holmes. A good Red. push from Tanner Gray. Now Holmes will bail and get to the bottom. Mike Shiplett, crew chief, coming on board. Brett Holmes' team this year, former winner in the Xfinity Series, as well as the Cup Series with Cole Custer. Look at Friesen. I talked about his truck. Now he's going to have his hands full because he needs to handle a bit. He needs some downforce. We'll see if he can hang on to it. Tanner if anybody Gray can, it's him. Was involved in that incident early. Here he comes in the outside lane. A little shove from Chase Purdy. Look at this run. Major There's momentum in the outside lane. They're stalled out on the bottom, and here comes that outside. Had worked all night long, and Corey LaJoy said, let me give it a whirl. Three wide. Is it going to work? Jack Wood trying to hang on to it in the middle lane in that 91. I don't like this. This racetrack is narrow through this trial area here. And the trucks like to dance through there. Not a lot of banking to be making a turn. They were scaring me to death too wide. Yeah, I'm like you, Michael. I don't like this. Three or four rows are three wide. Corey LaJoy bails on the outside, but look what's happening with Ben Rhodes. Sanchez pushing Rhodes in that outside lane. Is that too much of a push? NASCAR Ooh. said they're going to police that. Jack Wood jumped to the inside right in front of Stuart Friesen to go under Corey LaJoy. LaJoy now drops down to that inside lane. Look yeah. at the block that Johnny throws on Corey LaJoy. And then that gets him squeezed out. And then Holmes down on the bottom of Sauter. Is Bailey Curry going to come up and give him a bump? That 41 truck. No, I think he just no, got loose. Just got loose, and Bailey Curry goes around as well. Bailey's going to get into the inside safer barrier. Brett Holmes keeps his truck out of the safer barrier. Just got loose up off the corner. We've, we've seen it repeatedly. And uh, maybe that run that Johnny Sauter had on the outside he was down a little bit lower on Brett than he was used to. Just pull that rear end of that truck around. That's the hardest part of this racetrack when you're on the inside of another truck is getting off turn four. I just want to ride on the bottom. It's oh. only lap 71. Is that Rhodes again? Yeah. That's him losing his lap. Oh, oh he's going to crash. There goes Ben Rhodes. I don't know about that move. Caution is out. Eighth one of the night talked about him he was getting lapped and he was in the middle of all those trucks you know he's probably wanting to catch up catch the draft I don't know what happened but you know a lot of times you just bail up to the high side and let everybody go under you as, as he was losing his lap and then rely on getting a free pass yes. next time take your take your penalty and then rely on that free pass we'll have to get a look at what happened yeah it went yeah, it's it's gone now, and he's doing all all he can do. Pretty remarkable. To try to keep that. Truck. That he's hanging on to it right here. And yes. eventually, look at it turn sideways, and then he catches Tanner Gray in the 15 truck. Luckily, no more trucks were involved than were. Trying to get back. It's a push, and he's going to push there him goes sideways. There around right. into Parsons. Johnny Sauter gets a piece. And other drivers scattering to miss the accident. Caution number nine. Man. What a mess. Eckes, Sauter, Parsons right there battling for the lead. Is this a push gone awry or did Christian just get loose? 
Looked like maybe Taylor Gray came up a bit, huh, Phil? Yeah, I think so. And maybe that caused Christian to turn to the right a bit, and then, then it went around. Overtime at Daytona. Sanchez, Carruth on the front row. Great start by Sanchez, but Carruth and LaJoy are coming hard on the outside. Remember, Corey Heim, fresher tires. Can he use those to push harder? He's been quiet all night long, but here he is set up to maybe steal it late. Remember the rule about pushing. They said they were going to enforce that. LaJoy all over his teammate out front. Raja Carruth to the point. Outside comes Taylor Gray pushing Nick Sanchez. Nice move by Sanchez to swing to the outside. LaJoy's come unhooked from Carruth. Remember, once we get the white flag, the next flag will end the race. And the white flag is out. Nick Sanchez, your leader. Jack Wood is up to second. Taylor Gray right there fighting for a win, too. Corey Heim in the mix. Ty Majeski is there. Rajah sideways hangs on to it. Sanchez will try to work both. Oh, oh, trouble. And there's a crash. Caution is out. The race is over. Trucks up in the air. Nick Sanchez leading when the caution flag came out. Is that good job, boys? He is going to bring it back around to the checkers. Nick Sanchez, when he was five, taken to a race at Homestead, Miami by his uncle. He fell in love with NASCAR. And the Florida kid going to win for the first time in his career at Daytona International Speedway.